All right, so that's the holes on the wheelie bar. Uh, but the transmission, the way this mounts, actually hits right here on this area. Uh, so I have to remove material here so that that slides in. So I'm just holding it here. Make sure you wear eye and ear protection. You only have one set of those, so take care of them. And I'm just gonna use my angle grinder, and I'm gonna grind this out. So it might be a little loud, apologies. All right, so this side over here looked just like this side, so I've taken that material out. I'm gonna go see uh, if it fits. If not, I'm gonna have to grind a little more off of it. So, we'll see you soon. You can also use a little drop of oil just to keep this lubricated. Uh, it's pretty thin, so I'm just going slow, so I'm not really worried about heat. I mean, I can touch the bit and not burn myself, so the bit's still cool. Uh, but here we go. <laughs> the size I actually want. There it goes. So again, when you're drilling metal, you always want to drill slow. You don't want to drill fast. If you drill fast, it'll create too much heat here on the bit and you're going to make it dull. So you want to keep a sharp edge, keep it cool, low RPMs. You're not drilling through timber, you're drilling through metal. So I used a smaller bit first to start the holes. Well, first I measured, then I punched. So I just used a punch. Here's the 
punch and the hammer. Uh, then after that I used a smaller bit, drilled a hole, and then I used the actual size I want. So now I'm going to remove the tape and I'm going to go through, actually this is pretty clean, I'm just going to use a file. really wasn't much to file off, uh, but that's it. Uh, so when you're drilling your RC parts, if you're drilling into metal, make sure you drill slow. So I do need to shave off just a tad more. It's less than a millimeter. Uh, normally what you want to do is put some masking tape, mark it up, and then go up to the line. Uh, I'm just doing it freehand. 